ChatGPT. It's the artificial intelligence software being talked about across the country. We thank you for staying with us. I'm Glenda Lewis. And I'm Mike Duffy. Now, the application created by OpenAI went viral after debuting late last year because of its unprecedented ability to answer questions and generate text in a faster and more creative way than anything we've seen before. In fact, just this week, the chatbot passed law exams in four courses at the University of Minnesota, where it earned a C plus and another at the University of Pennsylvania's Wharton School of Business, earning a B to B minus grade. And BuzzFeed announcing it will work with ChatGPT for content creation. The website will use the AI to create quizzes and help with brainstorming, but not write articles. Thank goodness we're safe <laughs> for now. Well, 7 Action News reporter Amira David takes a look at what may be your virtual assistant of the future and why there are concerns about its use in education. Some of us know about it. Have you heard of ChatGPT? Yes, I have actually. And many of us admittedly do not. Have you heard of ChatGPT? No, we haven't. Have you heard of it? No. So let's take a step into the future by first taking a step into Professor Paula Lauren's office. ChatGPT, what is it? ChatGPT is a generative AI assistant. Referred to as a chatbot, it's a computer program. What has surprised you the most? Well, the conversational ability. When the application was released late last year, the professor of computer science got to work putting it to the test. So I asked ChatGPT to write me a cake recipe. Using blue velvet cake as an example, she asked it to replace the blue food coloring with a blue natural alternative. It gives me the recipes. And immediately, within seconds. Oh yeah, this was seconds. In another example, while creating a course on data analytics. I asked it, you know, give me a 16 week lesson plan. And it gave me that. I will state that it wasn't perfect, but it was pretty good. Today, users tapping into the application to do pretty much anything, create diet plans, prepare for job interviews, language translation, and the list goes on. How close are we to a point in which computers have achieved the same intelligence as humans. Not at all, <laughs> nowhere near. I mean, even with this, this is very impressive, don't get me wrong. So impressive, in fact, that when tested, ChatGPT was able to pass a Wharton School of Business exam and pass the U.S. medical licensing exam. I think this is unbelievably disruptive technology. Doctors like Todd Morgan, a U of M urologist and professor, see the potential to enhance the practice of medicine. For me as a surgeon, I love taking care of patients in the operating room, but nobody loves medical documentation. The chatbot could help get patient info into medical charts, write letters to insurers, and act as a tool of communication. Certain frequent patient questions could actually be answered by ChatGPT. The question right now, how good is it? How accurate is it? Is it good enough to give medical advice? Well, of course not. But it could be. A number of companies already looking to implement the technology but in the area of education, a gray line. New York City becoming the first to ban its use within its public school system over ethics. Are you concerned about plagiarism? Yes, plagiarism is of concern, but it can also be used as a kind of digital tutor. Lauren and Morgan don't believe prohibiting student use is the solution. By them preventing students from accessing it at school, then those students who are able to access it at home will be able to and, and, and will create inequities for those who can't access it. ChatGPT should be embraced as a valuable education resource by implementing plagiarism prevention measures and educating students on proper usage. If that sounds a little biased, it's because I didn't write it. ChatGPT did. Creators of the technology, they say they're working on a way to watermark AI-generated content that would help educators determine what's real and what's not. I'm Amira David, 7 Action News. All right, Amira, it's fascinating stuff. It is. Well.